78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. Let's talk some college football, shall we? Coach Prime in the in the limelight right now. Uh, the hate is real. I'm talking about this man is receiving hate from all angles, all races, uh, all sizes of people. Everybody it just can't wait, can't hide their hate, man. You know what I mean? Every game uh, Colorado Buffaloes play in, you have a legion of people that are rooting for them and want them to be successful. Because right now, Colorado Buffaloes are like everybody's, you know, adopted favorite team because it, people are rooting for Coach Prime. But with the love comes the hate. And um, people is hating for no reason, man. Just bitter, miserable people. Uh, ain't got nothing better to do. People wake up angry with frowns on their faces. People got permanent dents in their forehead from, from frowning all the time, being angry. You know, I, I listened to a few videos that people sent me and – I've seen um, one guy was on Tariq Nasheed's show, um, and this guy just admitted, like, you know, the, the, basically that the confidence of Coach Prime irritates him. If Coach Prime does well, then it's like, uh, what's left for us? You know, you're taking, you know, you already took away the playing spots. Now you're going to take the coaching jobs. Talking about black folks. And this is just ridiculous to have that type of mentality. OK, but we, we know it exists, uh, it exists in uh, basketball, football, uh, on every level of the sport. There are people that people that believe that, you know, uh, one tr one horse can't train another. You know, that's the old saying. That's that's what they believe. You know what I'm saying? And they believe that, you know, these kids, uh, these black kids from the inner city, you know, don't have fathers and all this stuff like uh, George Carl was talking about. They need a stern hand, you know. And um, <laughs> so apparently Dion is not capable of doing this, or they thought he wasn't or whatever. So Dion Sanders has been successful on every level of everything that he's ever done. He's been successful, and he's reached the highest pinnacle. Um, the haters have not. They haven't been successful at anything, let alone um, at the level of Dion Sanders. So they're angry. They're upset. Uh, they want him to fail. You know, they, they get up every Saturday, watch, tune to the TV, and, and probably never watch college football a day in their life, but they want to see him fail, you know. And then some people want to see him fail just because they don't like the smile that he, he got on his face. They don't like the smile that he puts on other black folks' faces. You know what I'm saying? So they want to just wipe that smile off of his face just once, you know. And people forget that this team, the Buffaloes, was the, like the worst college football team last year. They won one game all of last year, but now they're three and zero, okay, which is totally, you know, can't unexpected, okay, for them to be three and zero. We knew they'd be better than one and uh, whatever, but to be three and zero already um, is amazing. And you got people tuning in every week, watching, waiting for them to lose a game just so they can talk greasy. Oh, I knew it. I knew they wasn't going to do it. I knew they weren't going to be undefeated. Who said they was going to be undefeated? Who? So this is sad, bro. You got people hating on kids, man. Hating on young men trying to better themselves, trying to win some football games. Hating on Coach Prime, who out here trying to inspire children. He is inspiring them. Inspiring young men to be better grown men. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, these, these, I just don't understand the hate, bro. I do, I know what it's about, but it's, it's just, it's pathetic. You know, you can't even, some of these dudes is hating on Dion, ain't even talk to their own kids. Ain't even talk to them in years. Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean the mama didn't turn them against me, you know, so I don't even, shut up, man. You, you ain't got time to be hating on Dion. You, you're supposed to be trying to fix your situation. You know what I'm saying? Your daughter don't don't talk to you. She come home from school, go in her room and close the door. You don't know what she's doing up in there. But you on the internet gossiping about Dion, hating on Dion, hating on the college kids. You know, this is what people do in their life, bro. And it's it's sad, man. It really is. But they got Oregon next. Oregon is an amazing team. It's themselves. Oregon is undefeated. They 3-0. 
And uh, this ain't going to be a good game for Colorado, man. I'm rooting for them. You know, I, I say, hey, I want them to win every game. You know what I'm saying? But this one is going to be very, very hard for them to win without Hunter. Without that guy, Hunter, Hunter's their best player. Uh, he played two ways on both sides of the field. And um, he was taken out. You know what I'm saying? That's going to hurt them. It's going to hurt them. Now, they're still talented. You know what I'm saying? They still got guys who can step up. But these games are going to be tight. It's going to be, you know, I got to see. I got to see, man. You know, if they beat Oregon, man, this is going to get this is, this is going to get to some weird territory now. You know what I mean? They beat Oregon and get to 4-0, Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, you talking about you thought it was hate. They're going to need uh, Secret Service. They ain't going to need Secret Service uh, escorts to the game. With the, the level, hey, you got celebrities coming out to, to uh, Colorado. Everybody share. And then let me tell you something else, too. For, for these haters, you know, you got a segment of haters. Oh, Dion left the uh, the HBCU to go out here. Man, be quiet, bro. Look, how, how much money you donate to the H, uh, 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 to the historically black colleges? How much you donated uh, this year? You know, but the post the receipts, flex with the receipts. You know, everybody like to flex everything else. Flex uh, uh, your donations to historically black colleges, because I guarantee you, whatever it is, you ain't gave them schools more than Dion. I guarantee you ain't. All right? That was business. Dion went down there, helped them, them kids down there, helped them out. They won with Dion. All right? And there was a lot of sloppy stuff going on. He don't ha- he, Because he black don't mean he has to tolerate uh, uh, being mistreated. Oh, come on, bro. You know, hey, man. You know, bro, hey, you know. No, give me the same smile you just gave that white man that came up in here. I want the same smile. I want the same customer service. I want the same respect. I don't want you don't don't give me less quality because I'm black and I and you think I'm supposed to just ride with it because you know we brothers. No, they ain't how this work. They ain't how this work. I'm tired of the homeboy hookup uh, uh situation going on in our community. Where well, everybody act like now, so now you got a segment that's mad at Dion because he left the uh, uh, the historically black college. Okay, that's cool. All you gotta do is show me what you donated. Show me the, the, the are you volunteering? Are you doing anything for the historically? Oh, you just on the internet gossiping. You didn't even know what a HBCU HBCU was until Dion went down there uh, coaching the football team. You'd heard a few people make videos about it. And now you're an expert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's ridiculous, man. You got dudes who were skipping school all through high school. Didn't even make it past the ninth grade, let alone high school. Didn't even make it past the ninth grade. Skipping school every day, smoking, smoking tweeds, doing everything else you was doing. Now all of a sudden you care about historically black colleges. Man, go sit down somewhere, please. Go sit down somewhere. The only reason we're even talking about historically black colleges is because of Deion Sanders. That man shined the light. His light shined so bright that we talking about historically black colleges. And we ain't talked about them since the early 90s. I ain't heard nobody talk this much about historically black colleges since the early 90s. 91. I remember back in the day we used to wear them uh, historically black college t-shirts and uh, hoodies and stuff. You know, it was cool. Then it faded away. Dion brought it back. He made it popular. He did his job. So instead of hating Dion because he left one of those schools for a better opportunity, instead of hating on Dion, how about you use that momentum and you go down there, donate, volunteer, whatever you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Get you a good job. You know what I'm saying? Sweep up the floors. Do something. Contribute. And get off of uh, uh, Twitter. You do think they so important? Joining the little Twitter, the Twitter mob. You know what I'm saying? Black Twitter. You know, Black Twitter. What, what is Black Twitter? People think they're important. Black Twitter. Yeah, I'm part of Black Twitter. I mean, sit down somewhere, bro. This, this is what the internet has done to people's lives, bro. This this made people think they're important, bro. I don't, yeah, I'm a part of Black Twitter. We don't play. Yeah, sit down, man. This dude, Elon Musk, been to click the button and, and sent all y'all into retirement, man. I'm here talking greasy. 
well, Dion, man, he went to work for the white folk. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say I, I was about to go off. I ain't going to say nothing. I'll keep it to myself. But anyway, I wish Colorado, the Buffalo, was nothing but the best. They got a tough task ahead of them with Oregon. But y'all let me know what y'all think of the ridiculous hate for Deion Sanders coming from all angles, man. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new one. And I'm about to hear deuces.